In 1557, the Portuguese established the first European colony on Chinese soil in Macau, almost 300 years before the British claimed Hong Kong. It was the easternmost link in a string of Portuguese outposts that included Goa, Sri Lanka and East Timor. For much of its history it remained a quiet colonial backwater, overshadowed by the wealth and power of nearby Hong Kong. It was reunited with China in 1999. Since reunification, Macau has been developed into a leisure destination with elaborate resort and casino complexes designed to lure tourists from mainland China. A flavor of old Macau manages to survive in graceful old buildings redolent of Portugal, overlooking cobbled streets shaded by ancient banyan trees. The overall effect is a curious melange of Oriental and Mediterranean, refined colonial architecture and unsophisticated glitz. Another side to Macau is that it scores highly in the eating out and accommodation stakes. Number 15, Camo's Garden. Camo's Garden and Grotto is Macau's largest park and one of the oldest parks. After the British moved out in 1835, it was bought over by a Portuguese merchant, who later built his resident house there. The merchant adored raising doves and his hundreds of doves always hovered near the garden, forming a marvelous scene famous near and far. After the death of the merchant, the garden was donated to the government and later opened to public as a memorial garden dedicated to Louis de Camos, a famous Portuguese poet who lived 400 years ago. Hence the name Luis de Camos Garden. It is a popular spot for locals to do their morning exercises, to play chess, to walk their caged birds or to meet with friends. Number 14. Macau Museum. Macau Museum was inaugurated in 1998. Its aim is to preserve the cultural traditions, usages and habits, which specifically belong to Macau, in a place where East and West have so peculiarly learned how to meet and to live side by side along the centuries. Number 13. Dom Pedro V Theater. Dom Pedro V Theater is situated at Largo de Santo Agostino is one of the first Western-style theaters in China. The theater is an important landmark in the region and remains a venue for important public events and celebrations today. The theater is neoclassical in design, incorporating a portico front on a rectilinear plan. Number 12, City of Dreams. City of Dreams is a unique integrated resort combining electrifying entertainment an amazing array of accommodation, regional and international dining, as well as designer brand shopping. With the bubble, a spectacular multimedia attraction and the boulevard, a chic lifestyle precinct encompassing entertainment, restaurants and shopping boutiques, City of Dreams is the must-experience destination in Macau. Number 11. Gia Fortress. Gia Fortress was initially designed to defend Macau from attacks from the sea, but because of its position overlooking the entire city, its chief value has been as an observation post. The lighthouse stands at 91 meters tall, and has a light visible for some 20 miles in clear weather conditions. The Gia Fortress was a restricted military area until 1976 when it opened as a major tourist attraction. Number 10, Greyhound Racing. Greyhound Racing, Dog Racing, takes place at the Canadrome located at Avenida General Castelo Branco. There are around 18 games on every racing night starting from 7.30 p.m. or 9 p.m. Admission is mop dollar 10 for the public stand. Boxes are mop dollar 80, weekdays, and mop dollar 120, weekends and public holidays with a minimum charge of MOP $30 per person plus 10% service charge. Number 9, Street Lawrence Church. This is probably the richest and most beautiful church in Macau, not only of its decorations but also because of the objects displayed in the church. Originally it was built by wood in 16th century, renovated to the existing one from the 19th century. Number 8, 
Wine and Grand Prix Museum, situated just side by side. Macau Wine and Grand Prix Museum is one of the interesting places to visit in Macau. The Wine Museum is the only one of its kind in Asia. One of the main targets of Wine Museum is to bring the visitor into contact with the social, economic and cultural importance of the wine in the Portuguese tradition, daily life and celebration rituals. The visitor can even taste different types of wine, wine tasting, Prova de Vinhos, a unique experience for only a small price. The Grand Prix Museum in Macau contains exhibits that are related to Grand Prix worldwide including photos, videos, illustrated articles, cups, records of champions and some commemorative items. It was built in 1933 in memory of the 40th anniversary of Grand Prix racing in Macau and is located in the Tourism Activities Center on Rural Luis Gonzaga Gomez. Number 7, Kunayam Statue. This statue is dedicated to Goddess of Mercy. It is 20 meters tall and made of special bronze. The dome-shaped base like a lotus flower is an ecumenical center where information is available on Buddhism, Taoism and Confucianism. Number 6, Macau Tower, soaring 338 meters above the city. The Macau Tower is the 10th highest freestanding tower in the world and the 8th tallest in Asia. At the outdoor observation the deck the tower dominates the skyline and offers breathtaking panoramic views of the Macau cityscape, China, the Pearl River and even some islands of Hong Kong on a clear day. There is also a revolving tower restaurant seating 250 persons which takes 60 minutes to make one revolution. Number 5, Macau Fisherman's Wharf. Macau Fisherman's Wharf is a 111,500 square meters park and the first ever cultural, themed and creative attraction in the tourism industry of Macau. It is centrally located in the outer harbor and it is not purely a theme park, but also combines dining, shopping, entertainment, accommodation, convention and exhibition facilities in one single location be it for business or pleasure. Visitors are able to find a brand new experience in this entertainment complex. Number 4, Ama Temple. Macau's name is derived from Ama Go or Place of Ama and this temple dedicated to the seafarers god estates from the early 16th century. According to legend, Ama, a poor girl looking for passage to Canton, was refused by the wealthy junk owners but a lowly fisherman took her on board. A storm blew up and wrecked all but the boat carrying the girl. On arrival in Macau she vanished, to reappear as a goddess, on the spot where the fisherman built her temple. Number 3, Venetian Macau. Venetian Macau the world's largest casino, is one of Asia's most exciting entertainment destinations, and nowhere else in Asia will you find such a rare combination of facilities, attractions and amenities. All 3,000 of its room are suites, each with more than 70 square meter of space and lavish Italian marble bathrooms take luxury to a new level. Experience shopping with over 350 international shops, be dazzled by the street performers, or take a ride on an authentic Venetian gondola, all at the resort. Number 2, Senado Square. Senado Square has been Macau's urban center for centuries and still a popular venue for celebrations. It is paved with a wave-patterned mosaic colored stones created by the Portuguese. And here are the number one, Ruins of St. Paul. Traveling Macau without visiting the Ruins of St. Paul literally means not visiting Macau attractions at all. It is one of the most visited Macau attractions. Originally built in 17th century. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please hit like button to support our channel. And subscribe to our channel to see further new video that we will upload every day. Also don't forget to like our Facebook page. The City. Please have a nice day.